Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm back with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 4.2, and I wanna show you some cool MAME light gun games. The only catch is I'm using my air mouse to control them. Now you can use a regular mouse or you can buy a $100 light gun that's compatible with RetroPie, but I spent about $26 on this air mouse and it works perfectly. This was actually brought to my attention by a buddy of mine named Matt Borkin. You might remember that name from the Borkin button I did a video on. He also created a bat file that will take all of your light gun compatible games out of your MAME or arcade folder and put them in a light gun folder for you. It actually just copies the game and puts them in there, but it's a really cool little bat file that he created. I'm going to leave a link to that and I'm going to show you how to use it at the end of this video, but right now I want to get into a little bit of gameplay. So what I did was set my air mouse up inside of RetroPie. Now you don't have to do this. You can always set it up in MAME by entering MAME, pressing tab on your keyboard, and then setting up your air mouse in there. But I figured for this video, I just set it up as a regular controller in RetroPie. I'm gonna go into MAME here. Now I have a bunch of games and I actually recorded a little video of Alien 3. I'm gonna put that in the top right hand corner in a second. So I just took all of the light gun games that I generated with that bat file and placed them in my MAME Libretro folder. I'm using LR MAME 2003 to run these. Let's go ahead and start bang. So one of the cool features of the remote that I bought, I can control the DPI, like I said. Another cool little thing is if it's ever off, you can use the D-pad on the front of the controller to kind of center your target here. So now I'm just gonna insert a few coins and I'll start a game. I'll go to beginner course. And I have no clue what's going on. I might have to shoot these out of the sky I don't know. So my DPI is a little low right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that up a bit. I just press my function and caps button on the other side of the controller. And it's a little better. Oh, it's really too fast now. You just gotta kinda of find that sweet spot. A little too slow, so one more should do it. That'll work perfectly. I'll try something else here. Don't shoot that baby. Oh. And it's really getting used to it. I'm trying to aim as best I can. Let's go ahead and try another game. We'll do Jurassic Park. So there are a few games that I have here that do not work, and it could be due to the fact that I'm using LR MAME 2003. I haven't tested it with any other version, so feel free to do that. All right, there you are. wave him around, try to shoot his mouth off. There we go. Come on. I remember playing this in the arcade. It was a scary game back in the day. Now it just looks kind of funny. So that's it for gameplay. I want to show you how to use that bat file so you can get these games up and running. Like I said, if you don't have an air mouse or a light gun, you can use a regular mouse. Let's move over to the PC now. All right, guys, so here's my arcade folder. This has a ton of arcade games in it. I mean, so many, it's ridiculous. This is the bat file. I'll leave a link to Google Drive so you can download it. All you need to do is gather up your main games, place the bat file in the folder, Mine was already there, I'm just gonna replace it. Find the bat file, double click, run, and at the very top, it might be at the bottom for you, we'll have underscore light gun ROMs. 
So it actually just made a copy of each one of these ROMs and put it in here. These are all light gun games. Ready to go. If you want to use a mouse, you can. If you want to get a dedicated light gun, you can do that. Or you can get an air mouse. I really appreciate you watching. And I wanted to give a shout out to Matt Borkin for helping me out. He's a really awesome dude. He's done the Borkin button. He's done this and a few other things that I wanted to cover. I just don't have time. Like always, thanks for watching.